Hi guys, um, we returned last night from our trip the whole month in the Cape, it was totally awesome. Um, but we did have a lot of requests, people wanting to see the inside of a caravan. Um, some people wanted to meet us halfway or somewhere along for holiday, we couldn't make it to everybody. But uh, we thought let's record a little video and show you guys how the caravan looks. Um, we've unpacked a few items, but it's still like we had it on holiday, so let's go through it. Okay, starting at the back of the back caravan, um, you've got your shower on that side, you've got your, your porta potty on this side, you've got a basin here on top with cold and hot water, you've got a little mirror which you can tilt depending on your height. Then at the bottom, quite a big cabot, it's about um, 0.3 meters by 0.3 meters by 0.8. It um, gives you a lot of cabot space, like you can see we've got our little bags in there for when we have to run to ignition blocks. On top we've got all the other stuff that you need in the bathroom, if you decide to take a shower inside, you don't necessarily have to use what's in your bags. Oh, so at the other side at the back of the caravan, we've got a bit of a basin over there with the built-in porta potty. Um, which makes it quite convenient for off-grid or wild camping. From a height point of view, you can see we've got quite quite a nice height here at 1.95. So at the back we've got the shower. It's about 900 by 900 millimeters big. So it's nice, nice standard size um, shower, which is not massive, but it's ideal for off-road camping. Okay. So the Border X Expedition, there's a few possible layouts, we typically a family of four. Um, so we've changed our caravan layout, initially we had a wet room in front, bike beds in the back. Um, most clients want full bathrooms, so we've decided to change our own bathroom. You can see there's two bunk beds now here. Yeah. Um, the top bunk bed is 2 meters, the bottom one is 1.8, it's um, I think about 800 mils um, bed. Um, if you decide to go for two bunk beds, um, there is three possible ways of doing this. You can either have it completely close here, with all your storage accessible from the top. Um, the other option is to have a second fridge inside, which is very convenient. I'll show you quite a big fridge at the fitting here. Then um, another, we've had clients which decided to rather have two drawers in there, which is also a nice option, just to have a look. And what we've got inside yeah obviously right at the bottom we've got your electrical systems your batteries um, with a subfloor in there but we've got a few blankets like you see the christmas tree lots of the kids toys extra milk minus tools etc um, having a look at the main bed our bed is 1.86 wide it's two meters long and um, bedding we use on this is king extra king size extra long We've got windows next to our beds. A very convenient little lamp over there. It's tiltable, 180 degrees. It can also turn yellow. We've got USB points on the sides for when you want to charge your cell phone at night. Yeah, we have a square the area where we would typically put the aircon if that is what mm -hmm. you want. Just to quickly go through what you have for cupboard space. Um, this cupboard is about the same size as the unit in the back in the bathroom. Um, what I typically keep in here is my hair dryers and mirror, um, creams, our medicine, which is very important. I've got a big cupboard here. Uh, you never know when you need that. So this is convenient. It is important to keep it close if something doesn't jump out and be some 4 by 4 wing. Yeah, it's a bit of storage space here. I actually get some of my shoes in here. So I've got a little nice bag, some shoes in here. Then going to the main cabinet area, um, this is quite big. You can see black rates are in here. There's still quite a lot of space. Um, so I'm going to show you. Yeah, some of my clothes still left, I haven't unpacked. There's eight units like this. Um, Van and I both used two. Um, the kids both used one. Um, I've got some shoes on this side and I've got some extra clothes for the kids inside here yeah, in case they needed it. We didn't end up using probably half of our clothes or the winter clothes, we never even need it. So it's got a lot of space. Moving up to this cupboard. This unit is typically the outside kitchen, um, but you've got an area there which is shared on the inside and outside. So it's up to you what you want to use. Um, we typically like putting our hats, our extra jackets, all our board games goes in here. Um, 
convenient you can hide a few stuff in here we also have our table um, which is conveniently stored over here just to give you a feel of the volume um, I'm standing at the pinch point as far as heights concerned it's 1.95 for the top from the little um, step over there going from the lowest point you're talking about 2.2 meters got a feel of a lot of air typically we've got the six little windows we can open um, it gives a nice breeze going through here obviously our caravan is made from a honeycomb insulation material including the roof and the floor which makes it much cooler than your most off-road caravans yeah you can see is where we typically um, store our um, tent poles so it's nice and conveniently out of the way um, and like you can see off the month on the road our caravan is nice and clean but it gives it a bit of character um, we've got some bags storage bags on the inside of the door which is quite convenient typically stuff we need um, is like our tablet our sunscreen um, those kinds of stuff we've got in there we've also got a bag located in the inside um, some of our clients have a nice wine rack over here um, but we keep our wine in here take a move here mm. Um, let's have a look at our pop-up kitchen. We've got a nice little table which just folds down. Um, gives you convenient space over here. It's a big cabinet. It's 1.6 meters wide by 1.2 meters tall. It's about 400 deep. Um, we've got optional foam you can put in or you can design it according to how you want the layout. The cabinets do go to there, um, which gives you nice storage away that people can't see. As far as electricity is concerned, two two twenties over here. Um, we've got USB points and other points, all kinds of other points here. Whatever you need, we can add. This is what we refer to as our pull-out kitchen. Um, there are a few options available. This is our standard layout. Um, we've got space here for quite a big fridge. Um, it's on a 90 liter national luna, but we've got the 81 snap master. Yeah, we've got our two gas domestic stove. Got some storage in here where I keep some of my pots and my pans. Uh, moving to this side. Um, I've got in here a stove, you can put a microwave, you can put drawers in here. Um, I've got my wash, washing up rack over here. Moving to this side, nice big basin. Some storage here at the bottom, just to get some cleaning supplies and stuff. Um, like I said, very big in here. You can pull this out. Control water, very convenient. The geezer is located over here, automatically comes on and off. We've got four steadies all around the caravan, which is standard. Um, moving to this, we've just added a little hood rack here for ourselves, um, which can take some jerry cans and some wood, or you can just add wood over here. Looking at the back, you can see it's still nice and clean on this side. <laughs> um, Two spare wheels on hubs if you ever sit in a situation where you'll need it. Um, here at the top is a, what we call a dirty box. Um, it's not necessarily water seal, but what we keep in there is our charcoal, our brooms, odds and ends. In these bags, I think the abstention lid is over here and then the table. Yeah, Vina keeps all these grids, um, so it's nice storage for that. Moving to the side. Obviously, your 220 plug. Yeah, that's where we keep the electricals, nice and convenient to get hold of. We only use withdrawing products in our caravan. Moving to this side, this is our storage unit. Um, it's quite big, it's about um, 0.6 deep, 0.7 high, about a meter. We've got four of these massive director chairs, and we've got our ground covers here yeah, situated. Other there's pumps, we use two pumps. If one fails, the other one can still make up for it. Um, this little compartment here in the, back, in the front is if you take an aircon, this is where the outside unit will be located. If you don't take an aircon, obviously you have a lot of storage space over here. We've got a big nine kilogram cylinder, gas cylinder sitting in here. And then obviously we've got some more odds and eddies and stuff just stuck in here.